belonging. A lot of these children need to belong. They need to know that someone there cares. Okay, Keon. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? I was outside and I just kept annoying the teacher. And what happened? He just followed me in, so I told him to F off. Di Massey works with difficult children, the kind of students whose behaviour is impossible to manage in the classroom, like Keon, who today has sworn at a teacher. Just tell me out here. But what were you doing to annoy him, Keon? Banging on the window saying you're rubbish. I love working at BBA because I love working with these sort of children. I love succeeding. I like seeing them have choices. I like mo them moving on and overcoming any, any problems they have in life. Here at Bristol Brunel Academy, children who have emotional or behavioural yeah. issues are looked after in the personalised learning centre, where Di oversees a scheme based on firm discipline and rewards. Would that help? One of the reasons, or one of my passion behind working here, is the fact that I had a very challenging childhood myself. My mother was suffering huge mental health issues. My dad not really knowing how to cope with my mum. This has really sort of given me an underpinning to want to not just change my children, but to actually help with other children that are going through similar problems that I actually went through as a child. Coming from a difficult home life herself, Di wanted to create a safe space for students to come to at lunch times or to keep them in isolation from classmates if needs be. Oh yeah, all right. How are you? Yeah, good. How's day been? Yeah. Yeah? It's been okay? How did um, things go with your lessons? Good. When a new student joins the PRC, I send an email out to the staff saying, a new yeah, member of the PLC really family, hard, and that's what we are. We're a family unit. So that, therefore, we can have honest, frank conversations with each other. We might not agree all the time, but it's going to happen and we can move forward. Di struggled with her own education and feels strongly that if students are removed from the classroom, it's her duty to make sure learning is still the priority. I wanted it not as a dumping ground. I wanted it as a learning environment because most of these children, the families they're coming from, the, the, the social climate they're coming from, their life of what, what is happening to them, they can only move on through education. So you're going to be isolated in the PLC? Yeah. You're going to do a bit of reflecting on it? Yeah. And we're going to sort out an, uh, for you to have a meeting with Mr Hunter. Yeah. But you said, quote, to say your words, you can't tell me what to do when I was saying to you, go up to the PLC. It's being their critical friend. It's also saying to them what they need to hear, not what they always want to hear. But by putting in those boundaries and by being that critical friend, they know you care. And in our community, you have to actually do what you're asked to do by the, the teacher. Otherwise, we have problems, don't we? But it's also not giving up on them. I'm a bit of a terrier, really, because I don't give up. Once I get my teeth into something, you've had it. We shake on it. Harder than that, Keon. Come on, crikey. Come on, <laughs> ah, I've got the end. Right, cool. It's good. Thank you, sir. No Thank problem. You, Thank you very much. People gave up on me as a child, and I certainly, you know, if I wasn't how I was, I would never have succeeded. I would never have got through my childhood. As I got through it, I would never have succeeded to be what I am today. Have a look, please. Okay. So you do. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Uh, Take care. I say to the students a lot of the time, the hardest thing in life for adults is to be able to be honest about themselves and honestly look at themselves. If they can do that at the age of 13, well, what a marvellous human being we're going to have by the time they're 18.